During this module, we will be talking about exempt research. This is very important to understand what is meant by exempt research. Exempt research is any research which involves human subjects and study participants that meet specific criteria and fall into one of either the six categories which we are going to discuss today. Ab exempt research may human participants ki involvement different tarha se ho sakti. Either unko hum kisi procedure ka part bana rehe, either hum unse interview ka rehe, either hum unka koi opinion le rehe, ya hum unka koi medical procedure ka rehe. So all these researches could be included into exempt research. It must be initially reviewed by IRP, but then exempt from further review. Kin settings mein hum exam karenge? Educational setting and practices. Research on regular or special education strategies, effectiveness of institutional techniques, curricula or class management. These are the types which are included under educational settings and they are also called as exempt research. Then educational test, survey, interviews and observations. Ab jaise hum general baat kare hai ki humne students se feedback leni hai about ki unki teacher ki performance kaisi thi. Either they are satisfied with that specific course, that would also be included into exempt research. Research that only includes interaction involving the use of educational tests, surveys, procedures, interviews, or observation of public behavior is also exempt if it at least one of the three criteria are met. Now, three criteria are the first one is to identify the particip participation that it is not disclosed outside the research. I mean like if you have conducted any survey and it's anonymous or aap uska feedback jo hai wo naam ke saath open nahi kar rahi hai public ke liye then you can include that as an exempt research. Then disclosure of responses outside research would not place participant at risk of criminal or civil liability or damage to financial standing or reputation. So if there is no such cases involved then you can consider that research is exempt research. Then information obtained is recorded by investigator in such a manner that identity of participants can be discovered readily if needed. Like wo disclose to hai, but it has that kind of identity that if you want to discover that at any point of time, you can discover that is also the third point which includes that it's a criteria for exempt research. Then research involving benign behavior intervention. Like the behavioral in interventions which has, you know, that, that are very mild and they do not create any kind of significant change in person's behavior are called benign behavioral intervention. Benign behavioral interventions are brief in duration. They are very harmless. They are very painless and not physically invasive and not likely to have an adverse lasting impact on the participants. Let's say, I have researched one research in which I want to see that the participants who are in the puzzles who are in the time duration can effectively solve kar sakte hain if there is no music distraction. This is kind of a benign behavioral intervention. In which they do not harm them, they do not have any problem. Nahi ho rahi. It's not physically invasive. They are just uh, doing that puzzle or us puzzle ko sirf hum music ki distraction ke saath dekh rahe hain ki wo jaldi solve kare hain ya unko facilitation mil rahi hai ya unko se koi distraction ho rahi hai investigator has no reason to think that participant will find anything offensive or embarrassing so this is uh, not a kind of a situation jisme koi uh, embarrassment ho jiske andar kisi tarah ka koi offense feel kiya jaye but ye ek simple normal natural aur ek uh, bahut hi non-problematic situations jo hain, us mein interventions ho sakti hain. Given an example that a study that involved asking participants to play an online game that takes 30 minutes to complete. So you know the challenge could be that the game is longer one that may not be able to be completed in 30 minutes or there would, would be different tasks involved in game which may increase or decrease the length of the game. So you know this is something which is called a benign behavioral intervention. Then a study that involves asking participants to solve puzzles under various noise conditions in a brief time limit. 
let's say that there's a lot of noise and you give them the task to complete in a limited time period, where, whereas you find that that time is very, you know, short. And because of distraction, many of the participants may not be able to do that, but some of them would be able to do that. But it's not going to create any harm to them. It's not going to create any kind of shame and fear into them. So these kind of the experiments are called benign behavioral intervention. And for the beginners in the School of Psychology, we appreciate that the students do take participation into behavioral interventions which are benign in nature because they give them the kind of the idea that they are actually doing experimental research in different settings and yet they are not going to violate any kind of the ethical issue and that is something which is called a win-win situation to a student of psychology.